Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video where we are continuing with the model paper solutions of the subject digital signal processing. The subject code is BEC502. So as you know that the fifth sem students are having the exam after two to three days. So this is a very tricky subject to, and you are uh, asking a lot of in the comment sections and all you are asking for the model paper solutions. So that's why I have uh, taken an initiative and uh, given these solutions for you all. So again, uh, two videos are already uh, been done where we have discussed from module one or uh, two important questions. Okay, so please go through those videos as well. And again, before watching this video, like this video because it, it, be, it takes us a lot of efforts for to do these kind of videos. So one like of yours would be motivating us. Okay, so before uh, proceeding, like this video. So let us continue with the question. So we had uh, stopped at last video at two a. So now we are continuing with 2B now. Okay. The question is the impulse response of the LTI system. LTI stands for linear time invariant system. As you know, LTI system is H of N. They have given it as 1, 2, 1, minus 1. Where we have, they have indicated the arrow mark at 2. Okay. So H of N is equal to 1, 2, 1, minus 1. Here we should be determining the response of the system to the input signal x of n uh, where x of n they have given it as 1, 2, 3, 1. Okay. In both the sequences, the length of the sequence they have given it as 4. 4 terms are there in each of the sequence. Okay. So how to solve this? Again, they have uh, uh, given the impulse response of the LTI system. So you should be solving using convolution. Right. So first the given, write the given set of sequences x of n they have given it as 1, 2, 3, 1 where the L1 is the length of this sequence that is 4 and H of n is equal to 1, 2, 1, minus 1 where the 2 is the 0th term uh, arrow mark is indicated and the length of the sequence is also 4. So if you want to find the length of the output response or uh, impulse response y of n we should be doing the length of x of n that is L1 of x of n plus L2 of H of n minus 1 that is L is equal to L1 plus L2 minus 1. So 4 plus 4 minus 1. So that's why our length of the output final Y of N sequence would be equal to 7. Okay. The final length of Y of N which we get that would be equal to 7. Okay. 7 terms would be there in that. Okay. Yeah. Now expand the signals to N equal to 7. In order to, if you want to find Y of N, whatever X of N and H of N, we should be expanding from length to from 4 to 7. Okay. So that's why X of N we had the terms 1, 2, 3, 1. So if you want to make it 7, we should be adding 3 more zeros. Okay, so length of the sequence would be, be, be equal to 7 now. Again, H of N, we have 1, 2, 1, minus 1. Again, if you want to make the length as 7, add 3 zeros. Okay, so like this, you would be getting X of N as well as H of N. Now use the formula for impulse response to find the convolution Y of N. We know that Y of N is equal to summation K equal to 0 to N minus 1, X of K, H of N minus K. First, the calculation of output y of n. Okay, how to calculate output y of n? Before uh, go, uh, going to the calculation part, we should be remembering that y of n should be of length of the sequence should be 7 as well as that y of n should be having one term before the 0 term because h of n they have mentioned it as 0th term is 2. So that's why y of n also should be having the minus, for minus 1th term because h of n has it okay so that's why our final output y of n should be having the y of nth term because we are using the convolution okay so that's why we should be finding y of 0 y of 1 y of 2 y of 3 y of 4 y of 5 and y of 6 we should, we should not be finding we should be finding the value of y of minus 1 okay so from minus 1 so minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 so 7 values are there for the, all the values of 7 values of n you should be finding the values okay so yeah first calculation for n equal to 0 that is y of 0 is equal to uh, in this you substitute the value of x of k k uh, k is uh, x of 0 because first uh, from k equal to 0 right so x of 0 into h of n minus k that is h of n n is 0 and k is again 0 so h of 0 minus 0 is h of 0 itself plus x of 1 next value of k, k summation that is x of 1 and h of n minus k that is 0 minus 1 is minus 1 okay so one more term we cannot write it because if you take a k value as 2 and we would be taking x of 2 and h of 0 minus 2 that is h of minus 2 h of minus 2 term is not there only right so that's why we should be stopping there itself 
and uh, we would be we should be substituting the values uh, checking the sequence here so we would be getting a uh, y of 0 as 4 okay uh, do the necessary substitutions i have made it step by step you can uh, copy it later so first value of y of 0 is 4 similarly do for all the values okay next is for n equal to 1 for n equal to 1 that is y of 1 we are having x of k into h of n minus k that is x of 0 into h of 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1 so h of 1 then we have x of uh, k the one more value uh, for 0 is done now k is equal to 1 so x of 1 and h of 1 minus 1 that is 0 then we have x of 2 and h of 2 minus 1 Sorry, x of 2 in h of 1 minus 2 because n minus k, right? h of 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So again, we are if you take next term, that would be equal to 1 minus 3. Again, minus 2 we are having. So we don't have that term itself. So that's why you should be stopping here itself. Do the subs necessary substitutions by checking out the sequences. And we would be getting our y of 1 value as y of 1 is equal to 8. Okay. Similarly, for all the values, for n is equal to 2. Okay. Y of 2 x of 0 h of 2 uh, as I have told you do the substitutions okay then uh, so do substitution and solve for y of 2 that is equal to 8 then for n equal to 3 now see here for n equal to 3 the starting term is x of 1 why because if you take the value of n as 3 you would be getting uh, x of 0 into h of 3 minus 3 x of 0 and h of n minus k that is 3 minus 0 right 3 minus 0 is 3 h of 3 h of 3 term is only not there because uh, term is there but it is 0 see here this is h of 0 right this is h of 1 h of 2 and h of 3 if you observe it here it is 0 okay so that's why so since h of 3 is 0 if we multiply h of 3 with the any of the term that is uh, in this case it, it was x of 0 that would be equal to 0 so that's why i have not written that term only i have directly started with x of 1 okay so that's why x of 1 into h of 2 plus again x of k next value is 2 then h of n minus k that is 1 uh, sorry 3 minus 2 that is 1 then we have x of 3 and h of 3 minus 3 it is 0 okay so stop it here because next value we are having x of 4 uh, again in the sequence they have uh, we, we don't have the value of x of 4 it is 0 so that's why no need of writing rest of the terms okay so do the necessary substitutions and write the value of y of 3 that is equal to 3 in this case we are getting again for n is equal to 4 y of 4 again x of 0 and x of 1 I have not written it because if we write it we would be getting x of 0 and h of uh, 4 minus 0 that is h of 4 so we don't have h of 4 term only that is equal to 0 so that's why that term vanishes again next term is x of 1 into h of uh, 4 minus 1 that is 3 again we are getting h of 3 again that is 0 so that's why first two terms have not written it so again directly i've started with x of 2 into h, h of uh, h of 4 minus 2 that is 2 and x of 3 and h of 4 minus 3 that is 1 okay so do the substitutions and get the value of y of 4 here it is minus 2 okay again find for uh, n is equal to 5 again x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 we don't need because we don't have the uh, corresponding h terms again directly start from x of 3 and h of uh, 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2 okay next we are having x of 4 uh, uh, x of 4 we are not having again so that's why we should be stopping here itself do the necessary substitutions and write it as y of 5 is equal to 1 okay so if you take value of n you should not be taking actually you should be taking n is equal to minus 1 as i've told you but if you take directly n is equal to 6 wow either ways we would be getting the answer as 0 only okay so that's why this is the y of n plot where we have not considered the zero zeroth term and directly we have done for 7 values from 0 to n minus 1 that is 0 to 6 and we have got this answer but as i've told you in the beginning we should be taking n is equal to minus 1 because they have indicated the arrow mark in the h of n plot okay h of n sequence so that's why for n is equal to minus 1 again substitute y of minus 1 that is x of k that is 0 into h of n minus k that is uh, minus 1 minus 0 that is minus 1 itself so you substitute that you will be getting our y of minus 1 equal to 1 okay so now write all the terms of y of n that is y of minus 1 y of 0 y of 1 y of 2 y of 3 y of 4 y of 5 okay this is the 7 uh, 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 the block length is 7 of the sequence and this is the 0th term that is uh, for y of 0 
and this is the required sequence y of n this sum can be done also by plotting the graphs uh, plots as well okay in order to understand so in this is one method to solve it so please note it down so this is the next question define a system 2c okay define a system explain the classification of discrete time system with examples okay so this is the 2c question here so here the classification part I have not explained it but I have just classified the systems into uh, to, too many parts because I think that this is not so important but still they are mentioned in the model paper so I thought that we should be doing it. So uh, what is basically a system? A system is a mathematical model or physical device that processes an input signal x of n to produce an output signal y of n. Okay? That is a, it is a mathematical model which, uh, which would be con uh, consisting of some mathematical expressions and uh, the process would be taking place, uh, the input would be, input signal would be processed in the particular system and based on the process, they would be pro pro providing the output. In this case, it is y of n. If you can check the mathematical expression, y of n is equal to t of x of n where this t indicates the process. Okay, input is processed and output is produced. A simple system can be defined as y of n is equal to 2 into x of n plus 3 where here the system doubles the input the process done is the input is doubled in this case and 3 is added to the input okay after doubling so if you do this much process the output will be produced and this is the simple expression for a system to be represented okay so this is the definition and example part of a system and again the systems are classified classified into many many types you can first is linear versus non-linear system time invariant versus time variant system, stable versus unstable system, static versus dynamic system and so on. We are having uh, many many classifications of systems. So the, I have mentioned only four of them. So yeah, this is the answer for this uh, question. You can note it down. Okay. So that's all for this uh, video guys. I have discussed uh, two of the very important questions from model paper. So from next video, we are going to start from module two model paper solutions. So again, those who have not seen my previous videos of model paper, it is available in our channel. Do watch it. Like this video because your like would be motivating us. So we will see you in the next video with module 2 model paper solutions. Okay. All the best for your exams. Thank you.